All right, so this question is quite a big one. We can see that it's worth six marks, so it's going to take us quite a lot of work to get through it. Um, but as always, in big questions, there will be straightforward things we can do to start picking up marks. So, James has a contract to paint 30 identical water tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, he has to paint the outside surfaces of each tank, but not the top. Each surface is rectangular, uh, and then here is what the tank looks like. James knows that one tin of paint is enough to cover 12 meters squared of surface, and it costs $26.99. Work out the total cost of the tins of paint he will need for all 30 water tanks. So, if he needs to paint the outside surfaces of each tank, then we're going to be dealing with area. We're going to need to find the area of all of these surfaces so that we can work out the area he needs to paint. Now, I'm just going to go around like this to help us identify all the different faces. Uh, this is the bottom I'm trying to do at the bottom here. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So the reason why I did that is because we are trying to find the area of all the surfaces around the outside uh, that need painting. So the, let's take the blue surface. Let's do the blue one first. The area of the blue surface, which is going to need painting because it's on the outside, uh, it's a rectangle. So we're going to do base times height, and that will tell us the area of the blue surface. Uh, the base is 1.1. The height is 0.6. Uh, you may not have spotted that straight away, but this height is the same as the 0.6 at the back. Uh, so we need to do 11 times 0 0.6 and we'll have the blue area. Calculator, 1.1 times 0 0.6. Great, so that's the area of the blue face. Um, and that came to 0 0.66. Great, uh, let's do the pink one next. Um, that area is base times height, so 0 0.8 times 0 0.6. Um, you can include the zero on the end, so it's 0 0.80, that is what it says on the picture, um, but putting the zero on the end doesn't change the number. So the pink one is 0 0.48, and finally the yellow one, hopefully this isn't too hard to read, um, is base times height again, so it's 1.1 multiplied by 0 0.80, that's the height. A bit weird to think of it as height when it's laying down, but yeah, there it is. Um, and that area is 0.88. But you may be thinking that, oh, well, I've forgotten to do the back and the left, which are also going to need painting, and that's very true. But um, now that I've got these areas, I'm just going to remind myself that I have got only one of the yellow face, because that's on the bottom, and we're not painting the top. So as we're thinking about all surfaces that need painting, the bottom needs painting, but the top does not. Um, but the pink side, which is the right, we're going to need two of those, because you've got the right and the left, which is the same. And the same with the blue as well. You've got the area of the front, which is going to be the same as the area of the back, so we're going to need two of those. So when I add up the total area that needs painting, I'm going to need two of the 0 0.66, two of the 0 0.48, but only one of the 0 0.88. So next step is to add those things together. So like I said, we need 0 0.66 twice, so I'm going to add that on twice, that's the front and the back. We'll then do the left and the right, so that needs including twice as well. And finally, we just need the bottom, 0.88. So this, 3.16 meters squared, is the area of one of those tanks that needs to be painted. However, James's contract was to paint 30 of those tanks. It says it right at the top here, I circled it because it's easy to forget. But that's what one tank would be. I'm just going to times that by 30, because that's the area that needs painting on 30 tanks. So 94.8 is the area that needs painting. And now we can start dealing with uh, this bit down here about the tins of paint that he'll actually need. So one tin of paint covers 12 meters squared. Uh, just, so just to, just to make it clear, one tin would be 12 meters squared. So two tins, if you bought two tins, that would be 24 meters squared and we need to get all the way to 94.8 meters squared. Now you could, if you wanted to, just keep going up and it wouldn't actually take you too long to get all the way up to uh, having enough. So, you know, it wouldn't take you too long to get above 94.8. Or if we're trying to just work out how many, how many 12s or how many tins it takes to make 94.8, I can just do 94.8, uh, oh, hang on, sorry, 94. 4.8 uh, divided by 12. Doing that, I'm, I'm seeing how many 12s go into it. 
which is um, what we need to do to work out how many tins of paint it's going to take. Each tin is 12 meters squared, then how many 12 meters squared is how many tins of paint I'll need. So uh, that comes to this number, 7.9, which tells me I need 7.9 tins of paint, but we can't buy 0.9 of a tin of paint. So he's going to need eight tins. Um, just by the way, while we're talking, um, even if that answer had been like 7.1, sorry, even if that answer had been like 7.1, you would still need eight tins. Even though 7.1 rounds down to seven, you still need eight tins because you can't have not enough. You've got to have too much um, when you're talking about painting and having enough paint to cover these water tanks. So that means we're going to need eight tins. Uh, and finally, we know the cost of a tin of paint, so we do eight times 26.99, because 26.99 is how much one costs, so eight lots of that is how much eight of them will cost. So it is going to cost him 215 pounds and 92 pence. So there's our final answer. Work out the total cost of the tins of paint. It is 215 pounds, 92 pence. Good. So big question. Um, the first few marks are going to be for doing the same thing a load of times, like finding the area of all those surfaces. Um, so, but basically, they're just base times height. You just had to make sure you picked the right base and the right height. Um, add them all together to get the surface area that needs painting of one tank. Multiply that by 30 for 30 tanks. Then find out how many tins you need by dividing by 12. And finally, just multiply how many tins you need by the cost of one tin. So quite a big question. Uh, hopefully that all made sense. Hope that helps. On to the next question.